Hi guys, this is Bam Dele from Delare Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be talking about the student management system in an Android application. Uh, this is a simple student management system that takes up students' data, like roll number, name, and uh, the max of uh, uh, probably subjects. Users of this app have access to add, modify, delete, and view data. This application was made possible using the SQLite database in an Android. And different queries are issued to carry out different data inputs and output processes. I'll be moving straight to Android Studio uh, and I will be explaining the application in details. It's a simple application uh, that only has one activity. Uh, I will actually uh, explain it in details. We'll be moving straight to Android Studio where we have our... Uh, our source files are enumerated right there in the Gradle script. We have the build Gradle project and the build Gradle, the model app. Let's get to look at the model app if there's any dependencies. Not at all. We only have the compile SDK, the build tools, and the only dependency is the support are the Android support version 4. Though you can use version 7, version 4, anyone uh, it's appropriate. Let's get to look at the rest, the layout file we have the activity student main xml uh, that's the ui xml of this particular application it's a linear layout with an id of linear layout one the layout with an height match parent the background is uh something like a navy blue uh the orientation is vertical the padding button left right top are all 16 dps calling the context uh the, the activity students main activity that's cool and edit text to hold on to the row number no, the int on it is enter row number. Why the input type is number? No, it's actually going to take a number, nothing else than number, not alphabet. Uh, the closing edit text. We have another edit text for the name. The int on it, our need is enter your name, you know. And the third edit text is actually for the max, you know. The Android int is enter max, while the input type is number. Uh, we have another linear layer that's going to actually hold on to the buttons. The first button is the add button, which uh, we're going to be adding the user's data or let's say the student data. Uh, the second button is the delete button. You can delete a particular uh, student uh, data, a closing linear layer because they are actually sitting on the same row. We have another linear layer right here. What about uh, it has two buttons? The first button is to modify uh, this particular user's data or student data. You know, the text on it is modify. Another button right on this linear layout is the view button to view uh, the profile or to view the details of the student. The text on it is view. Closing linear layout. That's for the second row. The third row, we have uh, the layout with match parents while the layout weight is 0 0.74. It has two buttons as well. The first button is to view all, that's to view all data, that's to view all students in the particular SQL uh, database. The second button is actually to show uh, the particular profile or to the particular users or the particular student data. That's what that's doing. So closing linear layout and the closing parent linear layout of this right there. The drawable, we have our IC launcher, we just, uh, which is just, uh, you can depict this with different, with any uh, picture you feel like using. That's cool. We'll be moving straight to the student main activity, which is the Java class of this particular uh, student management system. Uh, we imported the bundle activity, the alert dialog, the context cursor, and the SQLite database, very important. The on click listener, the button and the text. The student main activity extends the activity, whereby we have the fields, the edit text, e name, e role, that's the row number, and the max. The button we have for the add, the view, the view all, the show, the delete, and the modify. And uh, the SQL database, we depict that with DB. The on create method. Call on the super uncreate save instance state. We set the content view to the activity student may XML. Now we're going to instantiate all this because we created a view there. We have to attach it to its appropriate IDs. This is what we do for the e name. 
the row number, the max, which are all edit text, calling its appropriate IDs. Uh, we are for the button, the add, the view, the view all, the delete, the show one, and the modifier, you know, calling it to its appropriate IDs as well. We are for the DB. Now you're going to open or create a database, which is the name of the database student manage. Uh, the contest is going to be a private. Now you're going to execute an SQL query. Create table if not exist student in the database student manage. The row number, which is an integer data type, the name, the variable character, the max, an integer data type. You're going to set and I'll click this now to the add button, which is over here. Now, on the click of the add button, it's going to test if the row number, you're going to get the text, convert it to string, trim it up, and get its length. If it's all equals to zero or the name, do the same thing, get the text, the string, the trim, the length. If it's equals to zero or the max, uh, based on the text, string, the length, if, our, if they are all equals to zero, it's going to show the message. Please enter all values, which is going to have a return type. Else, it's going to execute the query, insert into student values, passing this value of this data, the row number, the text. The same thing goes for the name. The same thing goes for the max. After that, it's going to show a message that there is a successful record. That's record added successfully. After doing that, it's going to clear the text. You get to understand what it's doing. The same thing goes for the delete button. You're going to set an unclick listener to this as well. You're going to test for the row number, which is uh, the text. Convert to string. You trim it up the length. If it's equals to zero, it's going to show a message. Please enter the row number that you're trying to delete. Now we have a cursor, you no, know, a cursor class, create an object on it called C. Call on the DB row query. You select all from student where the row number equals to the row number value. You get the text. You understand what this is? And uh, if the cursor object you're going to move to first, you're going to execute to the SQL, it's going to delete from student. We have the row number, we have the row number equals to the value of the row number, you know, gotten up air. It's going to show a message that the record is deleted. So it's going to be deleted. Records are, records will be deleted based on the unique ID, which is what? The row number. Else, there's an invalid row number. Probably you, you typed in an invalid row number whereby the query couldn't get. Let's look for the modify probably want to modify a particular uh, value or data passed in. Set an unclick listener to it. Now you're going to check for the row number. You get the text, the string, the trim, the length. If it's equals to zero, it's going to say, please enter a row number. That's, there is no row number to actually make a test on. Now we still need the cursor, object. You select all from student where row number equals to the value of the row number passed in uh, in the ID text. You get the text. If the cursor is being moved to first, it's going to execute the, the DB where it's going to update the student. It's going to set the name to the value of the name passed in, to the value of the max, where the row number equals to the row number in question up there. You know, it's going to set the name the value of the max based on a particular row number. So it's going to have a success row record modified, else there's an invalid row number. The same thing goes for the view. Now you want to show this. Uh, it's going to get the text of the row number, the pass to string, trim it up, and the length. If it's equal to say that, it's going to say, please enter a row number. We still need a cursor here, whereby you're going to select all from students where row number equals to the value of the row number passed, passed compared to text. Uh, you're going to still move to first. Now you're going to set the name, the max, based on uh, what you got from the DB. You know, you're going to get string else. 
that's an invalid row number uh we have for the view all this one is actually going to select all students you know from the database so it's going to get the count it's going to show the message if there's no records but if there is there's going to be a while loop you know, to loop through the uh, the records who is going to move to next uh during the process of the loop uh the buffer is going to append the row number the name and the max that's quite straightforward let's look at the show message whereby we have a, bu a builder which we have two parameters the title and the message uh the builder is we have is, we associate with a new builder uh we set the cancel label the title to the value of the title we set the message also to the message parameter and we show up the builder with the clear text is going to actually clear the row number the name the marks the row number data you know and it's going to request focus on the row number because we actually use the clear text method over here after uh the query might have run over here as well and over here and here that's cool let's look at our manifest the Android manifest, this is a simple manifest, you no, know, nothing uh uh funky. It's actually included because we only have one activity and we're actually not using an internet, we are using the SQLite database to keep records. So, so we're not actually passing an uh HTTP request. So it's simple. We have the application and we have the uses SDK. That's fine. I'll be showing you the screencast of this particular uh application this is a simple student management system whereby you can pick up data the road number you can save them the name of a student it's max you know and some other data you can extend more on this if you actually need it for your project you can feel free to download it i'll also be uploading the source file to my github account i'll be uh, giving you the link in the description uh session of this uh video in the youtube